And if he doesn't have that, he has no real good way to poke in or to contend with his opponent's speed, which both of those characters have in spades. So right. it's going to be interesting to see how Cheesy Potato is going to be able to slow down Soul Rifle and preventing Soul Rifle from running roughshod over her. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like I usually hear, like, Raster and Ori is a two-worth. Meeple is one with a lot of varying opinions, and I yep. think that over time those varying opinions have shifted a little more on the negative side. Yeah. No doubt about it. It is really difficult for Kai to contest past characters. Yeah. I'd say that Raster's probably third now, mostly because of the changes to Slipstream. It's mm. a little easier to knock that speed away from You know them. what? That's fair, actually. Yeah, I, I always, like... I know it's in the I know it in the back of my mind, but I keep kind of forgetting it because there's like yeah. so relatively few tournaments happening. Yep. Oh well, actually. Uh oh. I, I guess we're gonna see it in action. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say that I don't I don't know if we're gonna see a raster in this top eight. Uh, okay, thank you, so rifle. <laughs> well, there we go. Because I mean, raster still has the great combo game on Crag, but if you're able to knock that slipstream out, it makes the speed of Raster so much more manageable because mm -hmm. he is no longer one of the fastest characters in the game, and you can contend with that. Of course, yeah. That does certainly make sense. But on, to on top of that, lightest character in the game, if you can get him in a combo, you can kill him easy. Yeah, lots of it, especially with those up strongs and up airs. That said, we're going to really see if your theory can work in practice here. As Cheesy takes on a Soul Rifle, winners, semifinals, set number two. Yeah, and already just bullying Raster off stage because it doesn't matter how many jumps you have yeah. when you have a rock coming at your face. Yeah, and that's crazy because he usually, like, I feel like NATO is a really hard move for a lot of people to contest. Oh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Well. Yeah, on the flip side, that's what also happened. Barely 20 seconds and already to a stock game here. Okay. One and a. Uh, if I had to guess, trying to go for a jumping F strong and only the F strong came out, not the uh, jump. Maybe. Damn. That's uh, very unfortunate. Here we go, we're getting these fares put in Soul off stage. I mean, this is the time, right? You just get another early stock and then we're at a one stock oh. game. But Harry says, no, thank you. I want to win. Yep. But a second one, that will work. And these stocks are just flying in this set. We're already down four stocks and we haven't even reached a minute. Yeah. We are seeing the crowd here forming, rallying behind these players. Oh, off of the top platform, Ooh. but able to escape that combo. That is a scary spot, but that absolutely in the air, going to be able to close it out. Yeah, there is some good DI from Cheesy for a start there, but after a certain point, it's just so hard. Raster can keep going yeah. with more and more and more pressure off stage with all those jumps that he has. Yeah, and the problem is those blast zones aren't big enough to be able to maneuver endlessly mm -hmm. away from those jumps. Yeah. They're small. Yep, only so far you can go before the clap is going to be descending you right to your doom. And Forest Floor is another stage, very small top last, as we talked about earlier. So that same factor is going to apply, just more vertically oriented. Yep. But the big kicker here, you have more space to work with, so more mm -hmm. opportunities to get that rock out once you force your opponent away. That is very true, yeah. Flip side, it doesn't matter if your opponent's just constantly comboing you off the top here. Yeah. Oh, boy. There we go, up there is Scraw not going to finish it off, but neither is that up strong. Well, looking for a sneaky dunk there. Yep, caught the DI and going to be able to hit that up strong, and there's the first stock of this game. Mm -hmm. yeah, so looking once again to be off to a good start here. Much better than last time, really. But, Ooh. okay, the down B. There we uh, go. I suppose that one was not techable. And we're looking at a fairly even game here. The question is, is it going to be able to remain even for long? Yeah, I mean, the challenge is just the percentage that Raster can rack up so quickly. I feel like the biggest challenge in this matchup is just getting past that combo percent, because if you can live long enough, none of Raster's aerials will connect into the strongs anymore, and you can just outlive them until they get a raw kill option. Okay, the proc making it for a very awkward situation there. It could have been a kill, just going to be an awkward little reset to neutral. But here we go, the last rock missing. Sorrowful lives oh. to... Oh, never mind. That is a good trade for Cheesy Potato. Oh, yeah, exactly what you want to see in this matchup, leveraging that weight to your full advantage and make sure that Raster's approaches are just far too risky. Yeah, and right now, both of them just... 
throwing out tester moves, see if they can find that safe opening to hit their opponent. And mm -hmm. I'm surprised Soul Rifle hasn't been getting the parries on the down specials that Cheesy's been using. Hmm, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Oh, and there we go, Takner Rivals Ooh. Classic here. You cannot contest Krag there without a plan. Oh, there we go, gonna pop Soul Rifle up with that down tilt and able to close it out with the fair 1-1 one, one on the board for both players. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm hearing some Let's Go Julie chants <laughs> coming out from the crowd here. Again, rallying behind our all-time favorite. And sorry, Full Bus, not another secondary in the fourth burn. Yeah, I mean, this one is interesting. I'm not sure how it will play out because this feels like such a volatile matchup because mm -hmm. if Forsburn gets in, there is so much kill potential. But the problem is keeping up the smoke as Forsburn because Craig can just clear it so easily between rock shards and just chuck yeah. the rock. I don't, I don't remember the full rundown I've heard about this matchup, but I've heard it's kind of like a sleeper difficult matchup for Cog. You know, you, you kind of like, it's pretty self-explanatory why the fast characters are hard. Um, yeah. But I think that Forsburn is able to control mid range really well with Cape. And obviously Smoke is very awkward to wade through for such a slow character like Cog. Either way, Chopple definitely an interesting stage as well as it's really going to uh, double down on the high platform ability that Forestborn has. Yeah, and just trying to pin your opponent down on this stage can be a challenge and a half because one, you gotta deal with the overhangs and two, like you said, there's just so much platform to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically the entire stage. We've kind of seen that so far where, um, sorry for, that's not had a lot of damage racked up on him. About to creep over to 300% mark, but not if he can find a back air first. Wow, that was a dangerous move, trying to get back on stage with that bear. But fortunately for Cheesy, not going to get punished for it. Yeah, okay. Oh. Really uh, going all in with these down beats today, but almost every single one of them has paid off so far, so I cannot say it's a. I can criticize that. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're working, keep going for them. Exactly. Oh my God, just the boxing game Ooh. right now. Yeah, really, uh, again, this, this is kind of where it gets scary is like if you push them off stage, it is very Ooh. awkward to get back on stage. Yep. And Cheesy extraordinarily well aware of that as she kind of just puts all of this pressure on Soul Rifle right here. Yeah, and a lot of it is just putting that pressure in where Soul Rifle might want to go because like when you saw Soul Rifle land next to that rock, Cheesy waited on that up tilt. She was expecting a tech off of that rock so she could punish it with that up tilt. Yeah, oh boy. But they are going to send her back on stage. It is definitely not what Sawyer would have wanted in this fight. Lots of things not quite going his way right now, but he is still in this game number three. There is a world where he brings us back. Yeah, the challenge is just finding a way to clear off this stock as quick as you can, but exactly. Cheesy has been using the platforms in order to maneuver around a lot of the kill options that Soul Rifle has been looking for. Yep, that's the thing. If you can find this stock right now, put some pressure on there. Oh, oh looking for a parry or a roll there, oh. but Soul Rifle wisely jumping away. Yeah, and unfortunately, the cape confirms, and the cape uh, hits just kind of dropping here. Sorrowful really struggling to take stock number two, and that's really the big barrier here. Yep. And of course, Cheesy able to get the resources back after touching the ground. We'll have the resources again here. And this honestly is where we've seen Cheesy really push Craig, just being able to live off stage so long. 227%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I stock you know. finally gone. This is where it gets, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this is where it gets scary because there's definitely no shortage of ways that uh, Forrest can push Krag off stage and spike him. Yep. But obviously, you cannot make a mistake before you get to that point, and you really have to pull yep. off a quick and firm like that. It's a tough situation, and Cheesy just going to let an upstrong rip the easiest answer. Okay, Adelis. We're getting everything but the yep. maple, apparently. Secondary rotation coming out. And now, granted, this is the Adelis that got fifth last rip tied. Uh, no stranger to doing well. I yeah. don't remember. I think that Cheesy may have been, it was either Cheesy or Penguin that shut down the Atlas. I cannot remember which one. Huh. Uh, I think, okay, hold up. Uh, who did uh, Chompers play? Well, Chompers playing up against Penguin shortly. Ooh. So it was somebody else other than Penguin because Chompers <laughs> been- oh, no, This was last the, year, not oh, this last year. last year, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, Sorrowful went all Atlas last at Pride. Um, we've seen this is a very good analyst, honestly, and I, I've played it in, you know, on ranked and stuff too. Extremely 
good at pushing this character and making stages that honestly a lot of people think are not that great for Adelis, you know, like Chapel Pond. Uh, Storyful loves this stage for Adelis. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many ways for Adelis to get back on stage, which is huge. Being able to use those overhangs to give herself another option to get back. Ooh. Oh my god, that actually kills from that side. Yeah. Yeah, rough DI, but granted, that's a very difficult move to DI. So I can't really blame Cheesy <laughs> for messing it up. And we're kind of seeing, yeah, trying to just stand on that top plat, see if maybe Sorrowful makes a mistake. The problem is, it's Armor Edelist. Even if he does make a mistake, it's going to be nigh impossible to kill him off of it. Yeah, I mean, just that wait button. Oh. Uh, if well. there's Icicles, that'll be one way to kill him off a mistake. Yeah, the, the, the parry is the one mistake that he can't make. So, there you go. Oh, I like that. Using the fires on the platform in order to pull Soul Rifle up to a spot where you can actually get a hit on him. Yeah, okay, wow, oh, an insane amount of damage. Soul Rifle already over 100%. This game nice. is in Cheesy's favor. Yeah, just using those Rock Shards and Rock to control where Soul Rifle can recover and make it easier for Cheesy to go up there and find that up air. All right then, so. Definitely not down and out right now, but this is starting to look extremely rough for Soul Rifle. Really got to take the stock, and the up strong not going to be able to reach that platform. Oh, that is oh. gone. <laughs> and there it is, Perry and Cheesy moving on to winner's finals. <laughs> Cheesy definitely thankful for the crowd having her back.